Your corner shop has one, every corner shop has one, and the industry calls it the power wall. All the colourful brands demanding your attention. But the future isn't bright, the future is olive green, like this packet here. Most of the smokers I spoke with today weren't convinced that plain packets will deter children. Kids will always find a way to make something appealing when it shouldn't be. No visible difference between any brands won't, won't mm. I don't think, won't, won't make any difference. It's not as jazzy, it's not as cool, it's not fun. Um, you know, I haven't got the brand jumping out at me. Um, so yeah, I've probably been like, that's a bit boring, what's the point in that? No logos, no bright colour, just warnings, a grim picture and the name of the brand in plain font. This is already the law in Australia and the Department of Health in England is now studying its impact. Research in Australia has found that smokers using the new packets were 81% more likely to consider quitting. They were also 66% more likely to think that the quality of cigarettes had deteriorated during the last year. And 59% of teenagers in Australia say the packs make people their age less likely to smoke. Packs in the UK already have the big warnings, but anti-smoking campaigners say we should go the whole way. Hundreds of children are taking up smoking every day and once they've started on a particular brand they'll stay on it. So branding is terribly important, making sure that they start on your brand and not someone else's. And we know that the colourful packaging and the glitzy branding is really important for young people particularly. The government is postponing a decision until March and that's led to accusations of another U-turn. David Cameron was visiting an art exhibition today. Have you changed your mind about plain packaging for cigarettes? And that noise is one of his staff grabbing the microphone. Labour says it's a mess. Well, the government should have legislated on plain packaging earlier this year, and they didn't because they were pushed around by the tobacco lobby. Now they've changed their mind because they feared a parliamentary defeat, yet even now they offer dither and delay. The tobacco industry says plain packets play into the hands of the racketeers, but there's little doubt the days of the power wall are numbered.